So we have the biggest game of the season coming up right here this Sunday, 425 in Foxborough, New England Patriots and Denver Broncos. And I'm going to do a little hashtag throwback Thursday for you guys. And uh, remember the last time, go back, way back to the last time they met in Foxborough, which was last November, the Sunday before Thanksgiving, and also happened to be my very first Patriots game that I saw live and in person. And what a game that was. It was bone chilling, miserably cold. I have never been that cold before or since in my entire life. Oh, I can't even, you don't even understand how cold it was. We had these hand warmers and feet warmers and it was so cold that they froze and they didn't heat up again until we were an hour outside of West Hartford, Connecticut. It took that long for them to heat back up. It was so cold. And we sat out there, we watched him warm up, we were getting really excited. It was two Hall of Fame quarterbacks going head to head. And my favorite, Tom Brady, who I think is the best quarterback of all time. And Peyton Manning, who is second best quarterback of all time. Depending on who you ask, he might be the first. But it all depends. Do you count regular season stats or do you count postseason stats and Super Bowl rings? as to who is the best of all time, but even, well, I'm not going to get into that because I could film like a whole hour long telling you why Tom Brady is the best, but I digress. Back to my hashtag TBT post, it was like 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. It was so windy. It was like six degrees outside with a negative wind chill. It was just miserable. And the Patriots started out, they were moving the ball, but then they fumbled six times. They turned that ball over six times and went into halftime down 24-0 to Peyton Manning. You don't turn the ball over to Peyton Manning that many times and expect to win a game. But something happened, I don't know, maybe they ate their Snickers in the locker room, but came out in the second half and it was like they could do no wrong. Tom Brady was throwing touchdown after touchdown, and they were completing their passes, and Julian Edelman had two touchdowns, Gronk had a touchdown, Brandon Bolden had a touchdown, and all of a sudden, and after one quarter, we were ahead, and then uh, Peyton Manning, they forced punts, our defense was forcing punts, and they were intercepting Peyton Manning, and if it wasn't for a questionable penalty on a defensive holding we Akeem Tlaib would have made the game-winning interception but no the Peyton Manning Brady games always live up to the hype and we go into overtime so I forgot how cold I was on the in the second half because I it was just like we just got warm all of a sudden we were jumping around we were screaming it was the best game ever so then we go into overtime and Bill Belichick does what only Bill Belichick can do. And we win the coin toss and we elect to give the ball to Peyton Manning. Everybody's like, oh my word, are you serious? You're going to give the ball to Peyton Manning to start halftime. And like, this is it. We're not even going to win. I just remember the stadium was like, what is he thinking? I think even the players were a little bit uh, about that call, but the genius Bill Belichick had Peyton Manning throwing into the wind so uh, Peyton Manning throwing into the wind with our defense forced them, them to punt and then it came to the Patriots Tom Brady punted then Peyton Manning punted then Tom Brady punted again and I was like oh my word we're gonna have a tie this is ridiculous and then Wes Walker called for um, a fair catch too late and his teammate couldn't stop and hit the ball, and Nate Ebner recovered. And as time expired, we went through a whole fifth quarter, five quarters of this. As time expired, Steven Gostowski kicked the game-winning field goal. It was the best game in the entire world. It's going down as probably, not, if not the best, one of the best games ever. And it was the biggest... A deficit that the Patriots have ever come back to win so they set a record and I'm hoping that this Sunday is not like that I really would not relish going down 24 into the half but I think it's going to be a really good game 
I have a feeling that the Patriots are going to pull this out. We don't lose at home, and it's going to be cold and windy, and we all know Peyton Manning doesn't do so well in the cold and the wind because he was a dome quarterback for so long, but what an exciting game. I am going to be seriously, you have no idea how nuts I'm going to be on Sunday, but I'm going to be out of my mind. I can't wait. And I hope that I come back and make my next post a happy one and that I'm not sad. I'm expecting us to lose. I don't know. The Denver Broncos are just insanely good. The best team in football. But I, I don't know. The Patriots are coming into their own right when they need to be. So it's going to be a great game. The Peyton Manning, Tom Brady games always live up to the hype. And I think it'll be a tight game. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game as everybody else thinks so, but I think the Patriots are going to come out on top. At least I hope so. Dear Lord, please touch the New England Patriots and let them catch all their balls. Let Tom Brady throw six touchdowns and no interceptions and no sacks, even though that's probably too much to ask for. But please, Jesus, my birthday is tomorrow, and let this be a birthday present to me. In Jesus' name, amen.